Hello everyone. In this video of microprocessor and interfacing devices, I am explaining 8086 flags, which is also known as processor status word. So this is the flag. Flag is a 16-bit register. Now why it is known as processor status word? Because it shows us the status of microprocessor after arithmetic and logical operation and hence the name is status word. Now in this 16 bit of flag register, these five bits are used as status flags. That is carry flag, parity flag, auxiliary carry flag, zero flag and sign flag. And these three, that is trap flag, interrupt flag and direction flags are control flags. So these are the status flag that shows us the status after arithmetic and logical operation the status of result after arithmetic and logical operation. And these are control flags. So control flags the user has to set or reset. So what is written? The flag register is special purpose register and depending on the value of result after arithmetic and logical operation, the flags bits are set or reset. So let's see one by one. So let's start with carry flag. CY stands for carry flag. So what is written? Carry flag is one. Carry flag is one if carry generates after arithmetic operations. So this is arithmetic addition. Let's take an example of arithmetic addition. I have taken one 8-bit number and another 8-bit number. For convenience, throughout the example of flags, I am going to consider only 8-bit word. So this is added with another 8-bit number and we have got this 9-bit result because this 9th bit is nothing but the carry generated out of the arithmetic addition and when such carry generates after arithmetic addition, this carry flag will set to 1 like this. And what happens? Carry flag is 0 if no carry generates after arithmetic addition. So let's take an another example. This is one 8-bit number. This is another number. When we added these two numbers, what we got is result is also 8-bit number. So in this no carry generated from this most significant bit. And when no carry generates, then carry this carry flag will reset to 0. That means after arithmetic addition, if carry generates from most significant bit, then carry flag is set to 1 and if no carry generates, then carry flag will reset to 0. Now next flag is parity flag. This is even parity flag. This flag is 1 when the result has even number of 1s. Let's take an example. Let's take an example of addition. So I have added this one 8-bit number with another 8-bit number. And in the result, just count how many ones are there. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So result has even, that is 4 number of ones. So whenever after arithmetic and logical operation, when the result has even number of one, then this parity flag will set to 1 like this. And if result is 0, let's take an another example. Now in this, if result holds odd number of ones, here you can count the result, number of ones in the result, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So there are 5 ones. So it has odd number of ones and whenever there are odd number of ones, this parity flag will reset to 0. So parity flag is, it is even parity flag. When result holds even number of ones, then parity flag will set to 1. When result has odd number of ones, the parity flag will reset to zero. Next flag is auxiliary carry flag. Now what auxiliary carry flag means? You know that this byte is divided into two nibbles. A combination of four bit is known as nibble and one byte includes two nibbles. So when we add these two uh, bytes, that is 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So we write here 0 and then carry propagate in the second nibble. So whenever carry propagates from lower nibble to higher nibble, then auxiliary carry flag will set to 1. 
remember when carry generates from this bit to this bit which bit it is this is first second third fourth when carry generates from fourth bit to fifth bit or you can say that when carry generates from lower nibble to upper nibble then auxiliary carry flag will set to one like this and let's take an ex another example when we have added these two 8 bit numbers 1 plus 1 is 1 0 then this is 1 then 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 0 is 0 so here no carry is propagating from one nibble to another nibble and in this case the auxiliary carry flag will be 0 like this now next example is 0 flag now let's take an example. Zero flag is one when the result is equals to zero and it is zero when the result is non-zero. This sign is not equal to zero. Now we, I have taken two numbers. This is one eight bit number and second an eight bit number. When we have added these two numbers, we have got this result. This result is non-zero. And when the result is non-zero, zero flag will be zero means after arithmetic and logical operation if result is non zero if result is non zero zero flag is zero now let's take another example now i have added these two numbers when i have added these two numbers the result is zero result means we have to consider only this eight bit this is carry generated if carry generates then carry flag will set to one but now result is 0 means this 8 bit result is 0 and when result of arithmetic operation is 0, 0 flag will set to 1. Now next flag is sign flag. What sign flag says after any operation if most significant bit is 1 that, then that indicates that number is negative. So sign flag is set to 1 if result is negative. So what it indicates, I have taken two numbers, this is number one and this is second number. When we have added these two numbers, this most significant bit, what it is written, what is written here, if most significant bit, that means this bit, if this bit is one, it indicates that this result is negative. This result of arithmetic operation is negative and when the result is negative, then sign flag will be one, like this. And let's take another example. Now I have added these two numbers in this most significant bit. Most significant bit means this is last bit. When this bit is zero, this indicates that this result is positive. And when this result is positive, then what happens? Sign flag is zero. So when the result of arithmetic and, op arithmetic and logical operation is one, then sign flag is one. Or when you can say that result is negative, the sign flag is 1. When the result is positive, then sign flag is 0. Or for remembering purpose, how, we, how you can remember? If most significant bit is 1, sign flag is 1. If most significant bit is 0, sign flag is 0. This is for remembering purpose. But for understanding purpose, you should know what is the meaning of negative and positive. MSB 1, it is negative number. MSB 0, it is positive number. When the result is negative, this is 1. When the result is positive, it is 0. Now, this was all about status flag. That means status flag, this carry flag, parity flag, auxiliary carry flag, 0 flag, sign flag, these are status flag. That means uh, after arithmetic and logical operations, this flag will change on their own. And by checking the status of this flag, we can see what are the results of operation, whether result uh, generates carry, whether result is zero, whether result is positive or negative, whether carry is generating uh, uh, from the nibble or not. So these are all status flag. Now let's start with the control flags. Now we have to set or reset these flags as per our requirements. So start with the trap flag. So this flag is used for on-chip debugging. On-chip debugging. That means for checking the errors in the program. When trap flag is 1, that means when we set this flag to 1, what happens? It will work in a single step mode. It will enter into single step mode. 
and after each instruction one internal internal interrupt is generated allowing the program to be inspected as it executes instruction by instruction what is written what let's see what is meaning of single stepping mode single stepping mode means it is inspected the program is inspected instruction by instruction that means we can check whether there is an error in the program or it is going correctly after every instruction remember let's take an example suppose trap flag is 1 and we want to execute this program small program move 25 into l register then move 35 into bl register add 25 and 35 and halt so if this trap flag is 1 we can check the result that means whether really this 25 is transferred into l register after execution of this or whether this 35 is transferred into bl or what is the result in l register after execution of this so when trap flag is one it enters into single stepping and we can check the result after execution of every instruction it is written instruction by instruction this is known as single stepping mode and if trap flag is zero if trap flag is reset to zero then no function is performed that means in that case it will not enter into single stepping mode then what we will have to do you can write this program then execute entire program and after execution of entire program then only you can check what are the contents of registers or whether the program is correct or not but in case if trap flag is one and if it is in single stepping mode then you can check for the errors in the program after every instruction so this is the advantage of single stepping mode the next flag is interrupt flag now what happens in interrupt flag when interrupt flag is one when this flag is set to one the microprocessor will recognize the interrupt request from peripheral device what is peripheral peripheral means whatever devices we connect in the periphery of microprocessor that devices are known as peripheral devices whenever the devices wants to execute some program that devices can send request to the microprocessor and that request is known as interrupt request because that cause interrupt to the microprocessor so when this flag is one then microprocessor will accept the interrupt sent by peripheral devices when it is one then it will accept the interrupt and when it is zero microprocessor will reject the interrupt request from the peripheral device and will ignore them so just remember this is about interrupt devices whenever we connect a device to the microprocessor and that device wants to interrupt the microprocessor if this flag is one then it will accept the interrupt from the peripheral device and when this flag is zero then whatever peripheral device try to interrupt to the microprocessor microprocessor will not accept that interrupt and will continue its own work next flag is direction flag this direction flag is specifically used in string instruction string instruction means a, a string of instruction when there are multiple data is stored in the memory location and when instruction operates on this multiple data stored in the uh, memory the, that type of instructions are known as string instructions that means whenever processor wants to operate on block of data block of data means a huge data stored in the memory so let's take an example suppose these are plates so plates indicates the register and this salad is in, kept inside this is this is uh, equivalent to data stored in the register now this is suppose current location of plate now we want to access this plate this is current location current location so how far this current location is from a bottom plate so it is fifth plate from the bottom this is first second third fourth and fifth so this this is known as offset the distance of current plate from bottom plate is known as offset and suppose the address of this plate is 0005 
so what is offset understood offset is distance of required plate from base plate is known as offset suppose we want current location is this plate we have accessed this plate we have taken out this plates or we have taken out the salad from this plate now let us uh, analogy it with the memory so this is memory this is current location this is base location and this current location is five locations away from base location so 0005 is known as offset and this is the address of this memory location and these are the addresses of remaining memory locations memory location means this is these are registers of memory and every register has its unique 20 bit address in akt6 so these are all addresses of different memory locations so let's assume this is current memory location so what happens when direction flag is zero then access the string data from lower memory locations towards higher higher memory location means what happens suppose this is our current memory location and if direction flag is one then it will start accessing data from next 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 memory location like it will start accessing data from uh, 2006 7 8 9 10 so when direction flag is zero then direction of accessing the block of data is like this that means some data will be stored here some data will be stored here and so on and opposite if direction flag is one if direction flag is one then what happens it starts the access the string data from higher memory location towards lower memory location that means it will start accessing data from these location First, it will access, suppose this is current location, then it will access data from 2000, 20004, then 2003, then 2002, and so on. So, remember when, suppose this is our current memory location, and if direction flag is zero, it will start accessing data from next, 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 next memory location. And if direction flag is one, then it will start accessing data from previous, 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 previous memory location so this direction flag decides the direction of where data is available so if data is available in this side then direction flag should be zero and if data is available and we want to access data from this side then direction flag should be one now last is overflow flag what is overflow flag means if you are doing two's complement or signed number arithmetic then overflow flag on overflow flag on means overflow flag one means the answer is wrong remember if this is one it indicates that answer is wrong and it is used only with the signed arithmetic now if you added two positive numbers and got negative result if you have added two positive numbers and got negative result that means your answer is wrong in that case overflow flag will be one or if you have added two negative numbers and got a positive result that means your answer is wrong in that case also your overflow flag will be on or it will be one you can see here example zero so your most significant bit is zero zero that means it indicates that it is positive number but here in the result if this is one that means it, it indicates that result is negative so overflow flow flag is on or this is negative number this is negative number when we added if we have got positive number so here overflow flag will be turned on next when it will be off when you get the correct result then it will be off off means zero you have added positive number positive number your result is positive then positive plus negative result is negative negative plus positive result is negative negative plus negative result is negative in this case overflow flag will be zero if you are doing unsigned arithmetic then overflow flag means nothing and should be ignored so it will work only with signed arithmetic so i hope you understood the entire concept of flags thanks for watching the video if you have any queries you can always ask in the comment section thanks